Hey YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and welcome to another video. Today we'll be adding to our drum tutorial series, a Metro Boomin drum tutorial. So let's get straight to it. First things first, let's go ahead and start off with a more Metro Boomin style beats per minute BPM. So it changes to 176 beats per minute. And we're gonna give ourselves a four bar pattern for our drums. Let's draw, why did I just remove that region loop? And we're gonna go ahead and bring in Logic's EXS24 sampler instrument, bring in a drum kit, and uh, let's start off with the kick, a Metro Boom style kick pattern. So uh, we're gonna go over to C3 Octave, and we're gonna put in that first kick. All right, so there is our pattern. This is actually four bars over here. Stretch it out too big over there. There's pretty much a Metro Boom style kick pattern just to get you started. Let's go ahead and duplicate this track and bring in our snare. All right, let's go ahead and duplicate that track over there. And uh, let's bring in a secondary snare. Let's go ahead and duplicate this track. And uh, let's draw in the hi-hats, which is really gonna give it that Metro Boom and Bounce. So let's change this over to a brush tool. And we're gonna paint in eighth notes. find out my there it is right there is the one I want to use all right so we're gonna add in a couple stutters here and there so on the second bar we're gonna add in a quick stutter let's go to a 16th note and just paint that in Then we're gonna go ahead and stutter this over here. We're gonna do the same thing on the closing bar. All right, next, let's go ahead and duplicate this track. Let's go ahead and draw in a new region. And we're gonna draw in a percussion track right here. Uh, or sorry, percussion pattern. He usually likes to keep them at the end of his pattern. Uh, so let's go ahead and put one over here. Change back to the pencil tool. All right. We're gonna put it on the last clap as well. Snare. All right. Next, let's go ahead and duplicate this track. We're gonna put in some of those 808s. Now, of course, we can't have a Metro Boomin drum tutorial without an 808. Let's go ahead and draw that in right now. So for this one over here, he usually likes to put it on the second. So there's a little stutter kick right over here. So it goes da-da, and he likes to put the 808 on the second one. I'm gonna put the other 808 right here. Now this 808 is a little bit high end for me. <laughs> Not so much high end, but it has a lot of high frequencies. And I wanna cut it out just to really keep the low end info. So let's go ahead and just filter this out. Give us that nice rumble bass. something like that. And next what we're gonna do here that I found Metro likes to do it on his 808s. We're gonna go ahead and bring in Logic's Bit Crusher. 
and we're going to go ahead and just add some noise to this 808. Change the resolu resolution up to about 11 bits. I'm going to pull down the drive. Maybe the mix we can drop down a little, a little as well so we don't have so much noise. But it just gives more character to that 808. Here it is off. Kind of sounds flat with it on. Gives it more of that analog feel and just gives it a nice little nuance in there. So this is what we got so far for this pattern. Go ahead and uh, duplicate this track over here because I don't want any of those settings from the 808. And uh, let's go ahead and draw in an open hat. I'm going to put this on the third bar as well. And then we're going to add in a secondary hat or a third hat right at the top. And this is for the switch ups that he does. Uh, so I'm just going to, oh, why can't I get it on the one right there? There we go. And uh, let's go ahead and just drag, put this one in here. Just a nice little quick crash. So it kind of goes crash, open hat, and all the hats are in the background. It's kind of like a little bounce. So next I want to show you a more darker Metro Boomin pattern, one that you would hear on the 21 Savage track Metro Boomin, Don't Come Out The House. So let's go ahead and just do that. Uh, let's go over to a new pattern over here. We're going to slow down our tempo to about 150 beats per minute. And uh, we're going to create uh, a duplicate version of this Metro Boomin kit. And uh, let's start off with those 808s. Let's go ahead and make sure this is set to mono. We don't want our 808s to overlap. We should have also done it here, but I don't think the 808 was long enough to overlap each other. Uh, but let's see where that was here. Once we play that back, we want that to be set to mono. All right, so here we go. just repeats itself. All right, next let's go ahead and duplicate this track. Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and just manipulate this 808 a bit more. Let's go ahead and uh, bring in an overdrive on this one just to distort it a little bit further. Give it a nice fatter sound. And the next thing you can do is play with the tone. I'm going to push it to about 300 hertz. All right, next we're going to go ahead and bring in Logic's Bit Crusher once again to bring in some noise and kind of give this 808 a little fuller sound. this track take out the overdrive and bit crusher and let's bring in that um, a snare hit over here all right for this one we're gonna add in some overdrive as well just to make it a little bit brighter Go ahead and duplicate this track and just bring in some 808, sorry, some hi-hats and that will round up this pattern. Sort of a slower 
darker Metro Boomin pattern as heard in Don't Come Out the House. Let's go ahead and bring up the brush tool. Switch that to eighth notes. And then we add in those stutters, those classic Metro Boom and stutters. So I'm gonna put one over here. I just got a little too fast. Let's put in the 16th note hit. Just like that. Then we're going to do it again right over here. So right there are some examples of a Metro Boomin type drum pattern. If you do have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section below. I'll be happy to chat down there. And of course, I'm going to include a Metro Boomin drum kit for you all. I'll place that as a downloadable link in the description box below this video. If you are a new time in music mogul, I'd super appreciate it if you like this video and thumbs it up. And of course, hit that subscribe button for more good videos like this one. I'll talk to you all soon. Later. Peace.